Ho ho ho, what is up guys? Santa Kakis here. Thank you so much for stopping by and today we are going over all three of the unique weapons added to Destiny 2 with the dawning 2020 event. Taking a look at their stats as well as their PvE and PvP god rolls so you guys know which weapons to farm for. Now if you're thinking, wait, three weapons? Yes, three. That includes the Glacio Chasm Fusion Rifle added just this year, as well as the Cold Front SMG and the Avalanche Machine Gun. Although those two weapons are from previous dawning events, they're back this year with completely different and new random rolls. So it's three god roll videos in one, let's get started. But just before we do, if you like being hit by that Destiny 2 knowledge, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell to be notified of future content similar to this. We are at the home stretch to 1 million subscribers. Absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for the support. Now, let's start here with the new boy on the block, the Glacioclasm Fusion Rifle. Now taking a look at the stats, this belongs to the high impact frame archetype, which is generally considered the best for PvP because it's the highest damage, it provides the best possibility for getting a one hit kill. And the stats of this weapon are absolutely insane. To put this into perspective, this has a starting range of 67, the Arantil FR4 has a starting range of 59, and that was like a god tier fusion for the longest time. In fact, the Glacioclasm beats it stats wise in pretty much every department. So that is phenomenal right off the bat. But moving on to the perks here, we have even better options. We do have a lot of different barrels that can boost the range even further. Liquid Coils is also present, which is gonna boost the damage. Now in that first perk slot, we have some fantastic PVP options. Slide Shot is going to temporarily boost range and stability and reload a bit of the magazine when you slide, fantastic. Under Pressure is gonna give you improved stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower, but remember in PVP, your magazine is always low because you only start with a couple of rounds. Then you also have Killing Wind, where final blows grant increased mobility, weapon range, and handling, and Killing Wind has proven itself to be an amazing PvP perk. So frankly, any of those things would be great. Now for PvE, you're probably looking at Ambitious Assassin for a massive magazine size increase after getting a multi-kill. Then in that second perk slot, we again have some more great options. Demolitionist is a fantastic PvE perk, getting you more grenade energy and reloading your entire magazine when you throw a grenade. And there's some damage boosting options here. Surrounded for more damage when enemies are nearby. Swashbuckler for increasing your damage after every kill up to times five, immediately times five if you get a melee. And then we have high impact reserves for a damage bonus with the final part of the magazine. And similar to Under Pressure, High Impact Reserves is pretty much always active when you're in PvP and starting with those final two rounds. So for that PvP God Roll, where I think this weapon is most suited for, you want as much of a range increase as possible without sacrificing too much stability. Remember, stability is gonna influence the recoil of your weapon, and if you have no stability, you're going to have bolts go above people's heads, which you don't want. Then in that first perk slot, probably Killing Wind or Under Pressure or Slide Shot. Any of those three perks would be great. Then in that final perk slot, you can go for the increase in damage from Swashbuckler, but I'd personally be going for high impact reserves to just increase the killing power of this weapon even further. Now for the PvE god roll, it's gonna be something like Ambitious Assassin, but honestly Killing Wind wouldn't be bad either, combined with Demolitionist, Swashbuckler, or perhaps Surrounded. But it's time to move on from there to the Cold Front Legendary Kinetic Submachine Gun. Taking a look at the stats here, this belongs to the fairly rare Aggressive Frame 750 rounds per minute archetype. That's the same as the infamous Aikilos SMG. 
and its stats are, you know, pretty average for this archetype. Good range, trash stability, good handling. Then moving on to the perks here, you do have a lot of different barrels that will increase the range even further, but can also help sure up stability, especially in that second perk slot. Steady rounds with this archetype really isn't that bad of an idea. Then in that first perk slot, unfortunately, we don't have as good as choices as we did in the previous year's Cold Front. Honestly, like, Subsistence is a very good PvE perk, but with this archetype specifically, you will run into ammo issues. If you're okay with running, like, an SMG Finder, you'll probably be fine. But aside from that, you know, Surplus is actually not going to be bad. If you have some fully charged abilities, it's going to increase handling, reload speed, and stability, which, again, matters with this archetype and you're going for surplus two in PVP or perhaps dynamic sway reduction to increase the accuracy and stability as you're shooting it. But where the first column lacks, the second column makes up for in spades. There is nothing but banger perks here. Rampage, increasing your damage after a kill up to times three, fantastic. Surrounded with an SMG like this. I mean, surrounded is part of the Aikilos SMG god roll, or what some consider to be the god roll. Then we have Thresh, which is going to give you more super energy on a kill. Great with a primary weapon like this. We also have one for all. It's a new damage increasing perk where simply damaging three different combatants increases your damage by 35%, basically rampage times three by a little more than that actually but then we have something completely unique dragonfly on a kinetic weapon and that is incredible this is going to provide your kinetic smg with the ability to trigger solar damage explosions yes the elemental effect from dragonfly is always going to be solar somewhat like it is on the ace of spades now guess what that actually means it works with the war mind cell perk that produces war mind cells for solar explosions that is really exciting and so personally, I'm going for the role of Surplus and Dragonfly for that unique one-of-a-kind god roll. Unfortunately, Bungie has stated that this wasn't supposed to happen, so they may fix it at a later date and swap out this perk. I hope they don't, but get it and use it while you still can. But some more cracked PvE god rolls would be, again, that Surplus perk, potentially subsistence combined with rampage surrounded thresh or one for all like all of those roles would be fantastic now for pvp you're likely going for dynamic sway reduction for that increase in accuracy possibly surplus as well if you're not using too much abilities maybe even quick draw and then combining it with again those damage increasing options rampage would probably be the easiest overall thresh is broken right now but when they fix it it could be good and one for all and surrounded are decent as well but we've got to move on to the avalanche legendary power machine gun so taking a look at the stats here this belongs to the adaptive frame 450 rounds per minute archetype that's the same as the infamous hammerhead machine gun which was a tour de force in pve and pvp and it's also the same as the current deep stone crypt raid machine gun stats wise it's definitely lacking when compared to something like the Hammerhead, but it isn't embarrassingly bad. Moving on from there to the perks, however, we have some interesting choices. Now, for PvP, you probably want a good scope and then a type of rounds that will increase your stats, like ricochet rounds is going to be fantastic. For PvE, you probably just want extended or appended mag to increase that magazine size. In that first perk slot, PvP wise, you have Killing Wind yet again, as always, it's great. Zen Moment is going to increase the accuracy substantially as you continue to land shots, but honestly, Surplus could be decent here as well for that big stability increase especially. But for PvE, you're really looking at kind of one option here, and that is Auto Loading Holster. Now that is a great option, Auto Loading, especially with a very slow reloading machine gun, and if you can combine it with, you know, Extended Mag, it's going to have 70-ish rounds in the magazine 
2018, that can be really good. Moving on to the second perk slot here, Swashbuckler is present for a damage bonus grade in PvP and PvE. Then we have Vorpal Weapon for increased damage against supers and bosses, honestly not bad here. Then we've got Dragonfly, decent for PvE, adding that elemental damage explosion. And Tap the Trigger is going to be great for PvP, increasing the accuracy on the initial trigger pull. So, I think the PvP god roll is going to be something like Ricochet Rounds combined with Killing Wind or Zen Moment, and then tap the trigger. Then, the PvE god roll is going to be Extended Mag plus Auto Loading Holster combined with like Swashbuckler, Vorpal, or maybe even Dragonfly. And so guys, there you have it. Good luck baking those cookies and getting these rewards. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me, and keep up to date on the latest channel activity. The best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.